Okay, this video is going to show you how to model this shape in SketchUp. This is project one for SketchUp. Okay, you'll notice that the uh, shape itself has is five inches across, five inches high, and eight inches long. So the base is going to be five by eight. So we're going to start in SketchUp with the rectangle tool and we're going to create a base that is 5 inches by 8 inches. So you click on the point of origin, stretch it out, and you want to get it at approximately 8 by 5. You don't have to have it exact because now you're going to type in 8 quotation comma 5 quotation. You don't have to click in the box down at the bottom, you just have to type. And then hit enter and once you do that it will adjust to the correct size. Now you're going to adjust the height use the push pull tool and drag up about five inches you can sometimes get it to snap to five inches if you're lucky and this time I did so I don't have to type in the box down at the bottom okay so now that's our basic shape it's five inches high five inches wide and eight inches long so now let's go back to our model Let me find it here and we are going to adjust this part here which is two inches as well as the bottom part's height which is also two inches so let's go to SketchUp we'll use our tape measure tool and we're going to measure over two inches and make sure you're on the red axis you see that the line there is red that means I'm on the red axis and I measure over two. I can, if I can't get it to snap, I'll type in two quotations and hit enter, and it will snap to the correct distance. Here on the bottom, I want to be on the blue axis, and I got it to snap at two inches. So now I have my measurements at two inches from each edge. Now I'm going to draw a line on top of those guidelines. Now you notice that if you make a mistake, you can always go to undo and undo your mistake and try it again. You want to make sure that you're on those intersections. Now you can use the push pull tool again and you can push this part out of the way and now you have your basic shape that's like an L shape. And get rid of these guidelines. Let's go back to the model. Now we're going to do the bottom part here you'll notice that these, uh, this cutout here is one and one half inch on both sides. Okay, so we're going to measure over when we go back to our SketchUp model here. And we will measure over one and a half inches. So I'll take my tape measure tool. Got to make sure you're on the edge. And you want to measure over one and a half and got it to snap at one and a half on that side. And got it to snap there as well. Okay, so now I have those two guidelines. I'm going to draw a line on top of there at the intersections. You can get rid of these guidelines now. Then I'm going to push this part in but I need to know how far I need to push it in so let's look at this the model and I don't have this marked off but if you count over the little hash marks it is you'll see that it is four inches so I'm going to take my push pull tool and just push this in four inches if you don't get it to snap to four inches you can just let go of it wherever and this time I got it to snap so now that part's done. Okay, now the last section that we're going to is this top cutout. You'll see that it is three inches here in the middle, which means that it's one inch on each edge. So I'll take my tape measure tool again. Nope, not my pencil tool. Tape measure tool. There we go. 
measure over one inch from that edge and one inch from this edge. Can't get it to snap. I might just have to type it in here. Right, there we go. Okay, so now I got one inch and one inch. Take my pencil tool, draw a line over, draw a line over here. Make sure that I'm on the red axis. Now I'll take my push pull tool and I want to go down one inch. So back to SketchUp. I'm going to push this down one inch. There we go. Zoom out. Get rid of the guidelines. And there's the shape. And I'll give a side by side comparison. And you can see there's the shape. That's what I want it to look like. Okay? So you should be able to try to do this on your own. This is project one, and I'll have similar demonstrations for project two.